Welcome to the Passive House Show, where we talk about all things passive. We're a passive house building company called Eco Built Passive House, located here in Ottawa, Canada. This is the wonderful founder and CEO, Mr. Paul Keeley. My name is Mick. We're talking about Barnstadt, Heidelberg, Germany today. There's a great video that you got to check out by Passive House Accelerator on YouTube. We're gonna leave a link in the bottom of, in the description of this video. So this is a whole new area of Heidelberg and it's basically Passive House as far as the eye can see. So we're really looking forward to sharing some of this district with you in video. So we hope you enjoy. Man. Holy crap. So we watched that video. Paul, what did you think? I just gotta say, holy shit, man. <laughs> it's uh it's incredible what they're what they're doing in, in uh, Barnstadt. Yeah, it's uh it's wild. Uh you know, it um it's great to see it's uh I've I've said for a, a long time, it's a great time to be alive, right? We're in this transition to sustainable world, mm -hmm. and it's happening right in front of our eyes where this is our generation and we're the transition generation. So it's a great time to be alive, great time to see it happening. Um, ultimately the passive built environment will dominate future landscapes. Absolutely. And uh, hey, Barnstadt did it. They didn't just do it uh, recently, but this their project was done. This town, Passive House Village was created, finalized four years ago. Absolutely, right? yeah. Everything in that town. Everything from a city hall to a fire station. The first, the very first passive house fire station in the world. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Apartment buildings, mixed use buildings, that commercial science, spaces, industrial lab, spaces. Yeah. Shopping centers. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Houses, apartment buildings, everything. All of the infrastructure that exists in that town for it to be a town, if it's a building, it's a, it's a passive house building which I just thought was fantastic. One of the most interesting things that caught my eye and ear is they said that uh, the Americans used to own the land, right? There used to be um, Americans stationed and after they all left, the the land was still owned by the government, by the, you know, by the German government. And then the city of Heidelberg, they can buy that. They're the first in, in line to actually buy it. So these are some development areas then where they also encourage passive house or, um, you know, the, the um, district heating and all these approaches that are developed here. Again, it's all passive house. That means very, very energy conserving district, town, village. They also built a wood burning factory that, is that right? That supplies the entire I think yeah, biomass, biomass like yeah. wood wood pellets. Yeah, they're producing to be um, usable through through a number of their buildings. Yeah, so the infrastructure that they've developed, you know, it really is a self-sustaining community. And you know, lots of times people will, you know, just comment, you know, what's all this talk about sustainability? Is it even possible? And you know, we have to remember before the industrial revolution that happened about that started about 50 70 70 years ago in the in the 50s um before then this world was a su sustainable place mm -hmm. okay you know like uh, we're here in ottawa ontario the ottawa electric railway mm -hmm. existed from the late 1800s to the mid 1900s it was a train system throughout the entire city of ottawa and it was powered 100 percent by renewable electricity created by by the Shajir Falls in the Ottawa River. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so sustainable world before all these technological industrial advances, we, this the world was sustainable, was able to take care of itself for virtually ever, you know, millions of years with the yeah, exception that's, of- That's the whole idea of sustain, sustainability. Yeah, <laughs> so let's get back there. And, you know, but the only way we can um, get back in the modern world is to conserve energy, to conserve energy down to the point where the world can easily take care of itself through our renewable resources. And hey, again, it's a great time to be alive. You know, we're 
we're watching this happen right in front of our eyes and it's a beautiful thing i think that's the most exciting thing for me when i saw it was that it's here now that should give you more inspiration that it's like all right somebody's else, somebody else has done it it's time to keep doing it you know maybe we could be the next ones oh absolutely you know like like on track for developments multifamily projects um at the scale of an entire community that's always been the vision um it's done it's built it's mm. not in the planning stages it's actually done and it was completed four or five years ago that's amazing and uh, paving the way for the future built landscape uh so go barnstadt go germany um europe you know these communities people are going to fall on board we need gov governments to change we need governments to ultimately provide that opportunity and you know what's really going to be uh, fueling that opportunity is the results that uh, that come out of that community how little energy is consumed um therefore uh every you know every area of the world is going to see the easy possibility to have that you know that same concept rolled out in in uh, in different areas of the world it's exciting so. we love it check out passive house accelerator on youtube they've got a wonderful website um big shout out to passive house accelerator for letting us use their footage check out barnstadt the passive city it's incredible thanks for joining us this has been the passive house podcast i'm mick paul keely go passive